Hey, this is Steve Wiedemann. I just found some great information about Google breadcrumbs. You know, I've used breadcrumbs for a while, more in the source code and um, you know, as a, as a way to backwards navigate in a static website. But I found a great plugin um, thanks to uh, a gentleman, um, a website marketing guru is uh, is what he's calling himself here. If you go to YouTube, uh, here's here's the guy's YouTube page. You can check it out. Uh, he's got a great video on uh, what these breadcrumbs are. I'm going to show you very quickly how I installed them on WordPress. So, uh, so basically, you have to download the plugin, and um, it's check this out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm in the back end of my own uh, website here. I'm going to go to plugins, and it's a it's a pretty nifty plugin. Let's see if I can find it here. Breadcrumbnav.txt. All I had to do was click on Add New. Go to breadcrumbnav.txt under search plugins there's two one is not to be confused with the other one is a widget that allows users to quickly um, you know link and access breadcrumbs this is more for the search engine so that you get the effect of what um, this gentleman was telling you uh, yeah I feel bad I keep forgetting the guy's name he doesn't put his name in his uh, blog post I think it's Jim so uh, so Jim says hey you can use this this neat little tool to be able to get breadcrumbs to show up in the search results and uh, again so here's here's how I did it I installed this breadcrumb uh, nav XT I clicked install uh, when it was done I went down to settings in WordPress and I uh, went down here to the bottom where you see breadcrumb nav XT and um, so I, I made this basically is the link to the home page the first piece of the nav that you see right here um, I left everything else alone. I really didn't change anything. Um, current items, you know, I, I really didn't do anything. I, avoid linking to the current item because you're basically creating an endless loop. So uh, not something you, you really want to do for the search engines. It just creates this loop where they hit the page and they go back to the page, hit the page, go back to the page. So it's the best practice to not have your breadcrumb be a link um, or have your title or H1 tag here be a link as well. So anyway, so I got that installed. I, I went to general. I put in what I wanted my homepage link to be, um, and then when I was done, I click Save Changes. I actually had to go in and, and edit my theme. So here's how I did that. In in the theme, I went to Appearance. I clicked on Editor. Hopefully, your web server has has allowed you to be able to have access to these files. If not, contact your uh, web hosting provider and let them know that you need to be able to edit your themes, and they'll they'll take care of you. Um, I'm going to click on, on mine, it's on single.php, but it may be uh, header.php, depending on where you want to put this code. Uh, I went out to where, where the code was created. Um, this is the URL, if you want to keep it here. And, uh, and I just copied and pasted what they told me to use to be able to display those breadcrumbs. So, uh, so I took that code, I pasted it in just above my h1, you obviously want to have one h1 per page, this is my WordPress title. Notice I removed the anchor. Most default WordPress templates have the um, you know the link in that uh, that title. I got rid of it. I made sure that this was an H1. Um, so the change that I made is I added this snippet of code that I got from the website that talks about the plugin. I pasted that in there. I clicked on Update File, and what resulted was this cool little groovy breadcrumb nav. Now, with any luck, I'll start to see these breadcrumbs actually show up in the search results below my my um, description. So, um, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and put this out here. But this is um, thank you for Jim for presenting this this great opportunity for us to get those breadcrumbs in the search results. And um, you know, this should be pretty exciting. So, uh, anyway, this is Steve Wiedemann. Thank you again, Jim. Thank you, watchers. I hope you uh, those of you who have WordPress can install this and do this as well. I think it's going to provide a quicker click path from people who are searching for your product and service. And uh, anyway, more about me, go to seoexpert.tv. Thanks. This is Steve Wiedemann.